Good evening, everybody. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right, good evening. How is everybody? How are you guys doing? We're doing very well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We just hear you, teacher. We don't see you. Yeah, I'm trying to make my camera work. Oh. Um, okay, just give me a moment. I think I made it. Okay. Let me try this. Okay, there it is. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah? What about you freezing <laughs> over there? Actually, you know what? I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to, um, uh, I guess, uh, I'm starting to feel more like a local, let's say. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so it's not so bad anymore. Um, but yeah, little by little, I'm getting used to it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. How is the weather in El Salvador? Here in my town, <laughs> in my city, that is it's great. It's, we are, let me check. Well, we are 28, 27 uh, Celsius degree. Oh, yeah, it's, mm, yeah not bad. Yeah. But, but that means that if if there it's 2029 20, in san salvador it must be mm. less could be right yeah i don't know am i, am I right someone from san salvador <laughs> yeah anybody from san salvador Here in, in la libertad is 20 20 oh wow okay yeah so it's it's definitely lower. Yeah. Okay. And what if, and that's, okay, La Libertad. Okay. Wow. So that, and that's the beach. Wow. Okay. In San Salvador? What is it like in San Salvador? Anybody in San Salvador? Nobody is in San Salvador. Um, <clears throat> Aries, 23 degrees. 23 yeah mm. okay so it's not it's not bad it's it's not um it, it's not hot mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but it's not bad yeah that's good that's good that's good okay good um and how are you guys feeling are you um how how was it, how is has your week been too tiring or has it been okay? In my case, teacher, um, feel really good because we have finished one week with mm -hmm. work, so everything is really is really nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's yeah, it's nice to be able to finish the week. Do you guys have any any plans for the weekend? No yet. No, no plans for the weekend. No yet. No. I okay. have a lot of things to do. You have a lot of things to do. Yeah. Okay. So, what what do you have to do? Well, first, uh, for tomorrow, maybe go to the to the gym. Oh. And in the even in the morning during the morning. But uh, I guess that I will wake up early, but I don't know what time, maybe it's 7 a.m. I guess that could be cool. And then uh, I have to fix something in my house. Uh, so I don't know what time I will finish. So mm -hmm. that's why I don't have a, like a, a 
a schedule uh, for the things that I have to do, but yeah. that's why I I, I told you that I have a lot of things to do, mm, but okay. it depends at what time I will finish the reports. Yeah, okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay. Yeah. okay, anybody else have any interesting plans for the weekend? In my case, teacher, I'm going to go to the Ilopango Air Show tomorrow. Ilopango? Uh-huh. Ah, nice. The first after the pandemic, so it's going to be interesting. You, you're going to go for what? To the, to the air, air show. The air show in Ilopango. Oh, okay, nice. Air show. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds and that's good. That's my plan for tomorrow, Sunday. I don't know yet, but for tomorrow, that's my plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Sounds very, very good. Okay, what about the rest of you? What plans do you have on the weekend? Mm -hmm. No plans. No other plans, guys. No. Nothing special, no no parties, no. We're going to the market is a plan. <laughs> okay, yeah, why not? Of market course. is a supermarket. <laughs> yeah. Burritos plan. Uh, that is a plan. <laughs> Sleeping is a plan too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But maybe I will do that just on, on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, I mean with with the crazy schedules, you know, you do need to sometimes just sleep <laughs> you know and just get some energy back yeah actually um you know it's funny because uh just as as um they were they were saying talk about going to to the to the gym right um jose Wilfredo was was talking about going to the gym and i just remembered something really funny because um i've been i've been trying to find a gym here uh, well not 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 just once i tried to find a gym near my my place and then i went out for a walk and then i said i don't need a gym i i just need to go out for a walk because you know the 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 um the streets of istanbul are like this like this all everything it's like this it's, it's it's crazy they call it the 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 city of seven hills San Francisco? It, no. almost it, it, it's like yeah imagine san francisco but double <laughs> san francisco it's it's crazy it, it's like um like for example, the this the street where I live, it's like it's not like this, it's like this. Mm. It's crazy. Oh, really? It's crazy. It, yeah, I mean, um and what and about all, the vehicles they ramp up, they yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but they do. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and don't think that all the vehicles are that new i mean they are but they are but not new 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 right like yeah mm -hmm. so yeah it's yeah they they go up and down mm -hmm. but oh but God. yeah it's just at like a like a uh a you know a pedestrian do you guys know what a pedestrian is pedestrian no. pedestrian you guys have heard of that word? Yeah, yeah. People who are walk by by walking. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Pedestrian. Okay, I'll write it in the chat. Pedestrian. Um, yeah, I, I I like to write this word because some people when they hear it they think it's something different. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> right. It's so a pedestrian is a person that walks in the street. Yeah. Right. So we are all pedestrian at some moment in our lives. Mm. Right. So um, as a pedestrian, um, you have to go up and down, up and down, you know, so it's crazy. Yeah. So I don't need a gym. <laughs> I realize <laughs> I don't need a gym. I can just go walking. That's it. 
I don't need to, I, I don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I see many of you. I see half of the class, but I don't see the whole class. So um, I was wondering if you guys can help me with your cameras. Would you do me that may, that, may, that favor for me? If you can turn on your cameras. I know some people are on two cameras, but um, eh, but there are some people that I cannot see. Um, let me see. I know I know Harvey it has still problems with the camera, so I know that. Um, and um, let me see, uh, Fernando, are you there? Oh yeah, Fernando, uh, Ernesto. Yes, I'm here. Ah, there you are. Okay, okay. I couldn't see your 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 camera on. Okay. Sometimes what happens, guys, if you are on your cell phone and your um you go and see something else like another another window it turns off the camera so just letting you know that sometimes that could happen if you're not right on zoom it, that happens if you are on a on, on a computer not it do, doesn't pro, that's not a problem but if you are on your cell phone and you go to another window it turns off the camera so just letting you know um also Suleyma, is are right, Suleyma, are you there? Suleyma, are you there? No? Hmm. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna take right now the attendance. Let's start by doing that. Um a moment. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. Ana Claudia? Yes, and teacher. Okay. Uh, David Samuel? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Dora Elizabeth? Present. Okay. Uh, Fernando Ernesto. Present. Wonderful. Fernando Marvin. Present. Wonderful. Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo. Not here, right? No. I can't see. Okay. Uh, Haiti. Heidi, Heidi, is, is Heidi here? No, not here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Ileana. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Ileana. Uh, Harvin. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Harvin. Jose Marcos. Present. Okay, welcome, Jose Marcos. Jose Osmin. Present. Okay. All right. Jose Wilfredo. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Juan Miguel. Present, teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. No. Okay. Uh, Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. No. Okay. Roxana Ivet. Present. Okay. Welcome. William Alexander. Present. Wonderful. Welcome. And Suleyma, Suleyma Ivonne. 
Suleyma Ibon. Suleyma. Hmm. No, Suleyma is not here. Hmm. Okay, that's strange. Okay. All right, guys and girls. All right. Um, so how yes, yesterday and the day before, we were um we were discussing the vocabulary related to ICT. Um how do you feel now after after doing the investigation and after doing the the exercise the 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 conversations how do you feel about those the vocabulary do you feel you understand it or do you have any questions about it mm, i think no okay well, in my case, I understand everything. Everything is clear. And I think that the exercise really helps to understand better the concepts. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Uh, okay, good. What about the rest of you? For me, all the, the, the um, information now is clear. There were some new words. Gaigo, for example, mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't heard that before. Now I know what it is. Mm -hmm. And yes, I agree with Ileana that when we practice it, we better understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Maya, yeah. Maya, it's everything I understand very well. Okay, good, good, good. All right. What about the rest of you? Uh, I think there is an uh, important information, and uh, we only learn something about it. Uh, some wide information, very, very more information. And I think we have uh, the, the the basic, but uh, mm -hmm. if we need, if we want to learn more, we need to investigate more. But uh, we have uh, some idea about each of that uh, things, but. There are so so many concepts in in every scene of them, and uh, we can continue learning uh, after by ourselves. Okay, okay, all right. Um, is there something I can help you with? Uh, I think uh, that uh, it, it depends on everyone of each one that uh, is, everyone wants to learn more about this concept because it's a uh, so a specific field is uh, about uh, computing and uh, the people that work in computer system, it need to know more, more. We only need to know the, the general things about that. And mm -hmm. it's, it's clear for us, the, the, the main things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I agree uh, what you're saying um, about, um, that you know sometimes there are certain vocabulary that are more are more um i guess useful if for certain areas of jobs right so for example if somebody here works for the it department this vocabulary is definitely necess completely necessary for them to use however in general, we all need to know certain things. For example, IP address. How many of us don't need to know an IP address? Of course we do, right? That's vocabulary that everybody um, uses like quite often, right? Because we always connect to the internet, right? One way or the other, we're always connected. Like right now, we're connected to the internet, right? We're using an IP address, right? Um, so those are things that we're definitely going to need. But yes, there are certain vocabulary that I, I agree. Um, maybe we need just need like a general idea, right? But but yes, it, it is important that we do at least understand the, the general concepts, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And um, yes, I, I, I agree with with uh, what um, Iliana and Anna Taude say that 
it's very important like that we use this vocabulary and context to be able to understand it because it's not the same to say oh yes I know what this means right I looked up the vocab I looked up the meaning and now I know it no that's not knowing a word and knowing in a word is knowing how to use a word right okay and that's why I'm asking you guys because I in the conversation I asked you guys to use four words right from the eight words I used I asked you to use only four so um that's why I want to know do you know the other four right do you do you, is there anything else I can help you with anything no yeah. Nothing at all? Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, if there's nothing else that I can help you with, then we're going to continue. Okay. Um, so let's take, let's see. Just give me a moment. Okay, um, we're going to be talking. Okay, first of all, I wanna know if you guys can see my power, the point point that I'm going to be presenting. Can you guys see that? Yes, teacher, we see it. Yeah, okay. So this is the advanced uh, not module four. It's day number three, and today is Friday, February 3rd, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning how to use a, this word or this um, connector because of, okay? Um, something that we need to understand is that because of, is different from the word because, okay? So probably we are pretty familiar with how to use um, because, right? Okay, so because, how do we use because? What, what does because mean? Who can explain? Some explanations? Maybe mm -hmm. I do something because uh, another another things I actually maybe mm -hmm. could be okay. When, so when someone asks ask me something, for example, why are you doing this? Because this and this. Yeah, mm -hmm. like David said, like we, we are trying to give an explanation about something. Right. The reason of, of, of what why something uh, happened or we did something. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're doing something, yeah, exactly. So it gives us a reason, okay? So that, that's the most important part here. It's giving us a reason, okay? Um, so we use because to give a reason. We also use the word because, um, because of to give a reason. Oh, sorry, not. Sorry, not to cover a reason, um, to explain an effect. Okay, so this is actually a little different than because, because, because the word because, I don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> but the word because is used to give a reason. But the expression because of is used to explain an effect. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yes. So yes. don't don't confuse that. Okay. Um, by the way, there is a mistake. There's a uh, there is in a, Spanish. Mm -hmm. In Spanish could be like uh debido a que. Yeah. A, mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Exactly. There's a there's a a typo mistake here, so I'm going to just correct it. Okay, so 
do not confuse because with because of. Yes, I was thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. why because too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, I, mean, uh, when, it, it, I, I also was like, what? But then I, I realized that that's what they were trying to say. Is it's, 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 it's a typo. It's a typo. You guys understand what a typo is? Do you guys know typo? Misspelling, typo. missing a letter or information. Yeah, yeah. A, a typo is a, when you type something and you make a mistake uh, when you're typing it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. Well, well, sorry, sorry, what was? Typo. typo yeah, it, it, it's, it's, I wrote it in the chat. Okay, so it's there in the chat. Do you see it? Hmm? Yes. yes uh, I, I see the word, but what is the meaning? When, when this is happening? Yeah, um, so typo means when you type something and you make a mistake. You make it, a mistake when you write it. It's something when, like in Spanish, we say fe de rata. Something like that. In Spanish, um, when you when you write some article, when you write some book and, and you made a mistake and you don't have to the time to get the the, the correction, the, the mistake, you put a a phrase fe uh, de rata, that is uh, some word, some word is not what they need to, to they want to say. It's something like a supermarket. Uh, in a in a ad in an ad of supermarket they publish a, a price but it's not that price and then uh, publish another or another advice and they publish publish sorry publish, mm -hmm. public, sorry, publish mm -hmm. another ad and and in that says fe de rata is that in the previous was a mistake and they are correcting that mistake something like that no <laughs> Um, well, to be honest, that is the first time I hear the word federata. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's most usually most used in the in the scenario that David mentioned when you yeah. offer a service or a price of something. But in so this it's like more case, formal. Uh, exactly. Or, or, it's more formal, yes. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I guess typo is the like like the colloquial thing. So my question to you is the typo just happens when you use, uh, um, for example, uh, using Interior a machine, machine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. or, or is also, do you call it typo when you write, when you are handwriting? Yeah, anything that you, you write, mm -hmm. any, any, okay. any printed um, mm -hmm. information there is. Um, printed information. Uh, yeah, that is so print, print, when, when, you, when, when I say print, um you also print with your head like for example you can uh, the word print is also used um like when you say in spanish uh, letra de molde like for example oh, okay. print your name print your name means escriba su nombre en, en letra de molde okay first time i hear that <laughs> yeah really oh, yeah okay. because for me print is just like the similar to copy Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, let me write. Yeah, so you can say, uh, you hear this a lot when you are uh, going to uh, sign a document, for example. It says, they says, sign and print your, do your name. Mm -hmm. Print your name, for example. So it means to write your name um, by hand. Okay. Okay. So print your name means write your hand, your name by hand, right? So with your hand, you mean this in a, and, um, you know, a, a pen or a pencil, you write your name, right? That, that means print. So anything that's printed, right? And by printed, I mean, whether it's, um, whether it's by your hand or by a machine, Right, anything like that is a typo if you make a mistake. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, but usually it it refers to something that is uh, more like 
yeah, more formal, even though, even though you are writing um, with your hand, it's more used for something formal. Like uh, if you're going to, to give you an example, I've, I'm going to um, print a, with my hand, I'm gonna print a declaration like for a formal declaration and I make a mistake, that's that could be a typo as well. Okay. So yes, um, it is it is usually used in a in a more formal context, but not so formal like like something necessarily like in a newspaper. Not necessarily that. I, I don't know. Does that make sense or did I just confuse you? No, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, all right. So does everybody get that or anybody have questions about that? I'm okay. Okay, all right. So, okay, so going back to this word because, um, it, because it's used to talk about uh, a reason, okay? And because of is more to talk about an effect. Okay, um, now that's not the only difference between because and because of. There's another difference, a very important difference. And the other important difference is that we use because of with a noun phrase. Okay, whereas because we use it with a clause. Now, who can explain what's the difference between a noun phrase and a clause? Uh, uh, I see the clause is a, a similar like a sentence and a noun phrase is a, a, maybe a, a proposition and a noun or something like that. Not, not uh, many words. Maybe. Okay. The clauses are those uh, grammatical sentences that are associated or used like a bridge, a word specific bridge, a word like a bridge. And I guess uh, because of used to associate this sentence, the, the, I don't remember the type of clauses they are open. I don't remember. <laughs> but the, 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 these type of words are used to associate one idea, the ID, A idea with the B idea, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So a clause, we'll say that a clause is um, a subject. It, it, it includes us. It, we have to have a subject mm -hmm. and we have to have a verb mm -hmm. to make a clause. Okay. So that's why, Anna Claudia, you mentioned a sentence, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, a sentence definitely is a clause, right? But sometimes a sentence may have more than one clause, right? Um, mm -hmm. So we have may have more than one idea connected. For example, we can say, um, you know, I like cheeseburgers, eh, but I hate fries. Okay, so there you have two clauses. The first clause is, I, lo I love or I like cheeseburgers. Okay, so that's the an idea, a complete idea, because it has a subject, I, and then it has love, which is the subject, the, the verb. And so it has a complete idea. Whereas the second sentence, we have, I hate fries. So we have a complete idea of, uh, we have a subject I and hate, which is a verb. So that's a clause. But a noun phrase, a phrase is just basically, um, it's not a complete idea, okay? So the phrase cannot stand by itself, okay? And, a noun phrase, the word noun 
is referring to like a subject, for example, right? So it's a thing. So a noun phrase is usually, an, it's a noun that is composed of many words, okay? For example, um, my favorite water bottle, my favorite water bottle, that's a noun phrase, right? Because there's no verb my favorite water bottle what part there's no verb there mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. that would be a noun phrase my favorite water bottle it's a it's a thing but it's a long thing right it's it's composed of many words usually a noun phrase is gives you more specific information about the noun i'm not just talking about uh, a a water bottle. I'm not just talking about a bottle. I'm talking about a specific, a water bottle, but not just any water bottle. It's my favorite water bottle. So it's giving you more specific information. Does that make sense? What a noun phrase is? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Maybe in in your um example about the uh, water bottle mm -hmm. you can say uh, uh, my favorite water bottle uh, is because of they have flavors maybe flavors uh-huh um, in that case you're talking about the water not the bottle because the water bottle wouldn't have flavors Mm, mm, sí, hay unos que tienen sabores, o sea, por eso hacía el, el ejemplo. Sería como un la, complemento. ¿La botella de agua tiene sabores? No, 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 perdón, perdón, el agua. Ajá, so yeah, you're talking about the water then. Ajá, ajá. ajá. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We could say, for example, um, you can say, because of <clears throat> my love for... Because of my love for um, strawberry, I prefer flavored water, right? Because of my love for strawberry. My love for strawberry is not a, a clause. It's mm -hmm. a phrase. Right? I'm being specific. My love for this thing. Okay, so it means that I love something, but mm -hmm. it's not a it's not there's no subject and verb. It just mm -hmm. means that my love is it's it's um it's possessive, right? It's possessive. My love. Okay. It's like when you say eh, eh, por el amor que yo le tengo a, a la La fresa, right? Um, I I love water. I love uh, flavored water. Flavored water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Example. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because of is used in phrasal sentence. With yeah, with yeah, exactly, exactly with phrasal sentence with a noun phrase. Okay. Yeah, noun so phrase. that is the name, noun phrase. Noun phrase, exactly, oh, okay. a noun phrase, okay? So, phrase. so we okay. use because of with a noun phrase to introduce the cause, the, the cause that explains an effect, okay? So, and like I said in that sentence before, because of my love for uh, strawberry, there's an effect. There's, from that, because I have that, I have an effect. The effect is that I liked, I like flavored water. Okay. So mm -hmm. it, now this connector is not usually used after form of the verb be. So we can say these are some examples of how we can use because of. These are more examples that you can see more written, right? Okay. So we have because of. Because of their capacity to process huge amounts of information, 
So this, oops, sorry. This becomes our noun phrase. Okay, so they have an ability or a capability to process huge amounts of information. Now, because this capability exists, there is an effect. What's the effect? The effect is the ICT systems are essential to maximize a company's efficiency. That's the effect. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, it's <clears throat> it's uh, another way to to say uh, due to their capacity to process huge amount of information, I, ICT systems are essential to maximize the company's efficiency. Due Very to, good. but I I don't know if there is a a kind of difference between the two terms or prices, I don't know. Yeah, um, and, and absolutely, I, I, you're absolutely one uh, right, uh, uh, Juan Miguel. Yes, because of, uh, we can also um, use do to, okay? So it's the same idea. Yeah, there's really no difference between okay, okay. Um, do to and because of. What this lesson is mostly is, saying don't confuse these two things together okay, okay because of and because okay okay and maybe a another fancy way to to say <laughs> the things maybe um i don't know if it's more fancy um i would say because of it's, it's actually just, mm -hmm. maybe it's just another way to, to say this the, the same thing yeah, yeah, okay. I would say because of it's a, even like a little bit more colloquial than do to. Do to, I sound, it, it sounds more formal to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I heard you. Do to or do to? Do to. Do. Do, D do to. You. Do to. You. Okay. Do to. Yeah. Because do. I was thinking that it was do you, like uh, it, D I U. In, no, okay. It, you, I'll, I'll, re, I'll write the spelling, okay, so that we don't get confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's the spelling, do, yeah. but we pronounce it do. Okay, okay. So we don't say do, you, it's do. Okay. Do okay. to. Thank okay. You. All right. Do strong like the verb to do. Same pronunciation. So we do not okay. say we do not say due to. It's due, due to. Due to. Okay. And due to is also used with uh, noun phrases? Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. <clears throat> so yes. either or I can use due to mm -hmm. or because of. Yeah. But like I said, uh, I think it sounds, uh, due to, it sounds much more formal than because of. Okay. Maybe, maybe uh, you use due to in a, uh, in a report or mm -hmm. in a, yeah, a report, a presentation or something mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, it's, it's definitely much more formal. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Good. Um. So, all right. So there's another example here. Um. Uh, many businesses out outsource um, providers of ICT systems to stay updated because of because of the rapid development of information technology. So here we have because of, and after the because of, we're gonna have the noun phrase, I'm sorry, 
the frown phrase would be the rapid development of information technology. Oh, where is my cursor? I've lost my cursor. Sorry, guys. Oh, there it is. Just found it. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. So here is my noun phrase. As you can see, there is no verb. So that's why it's a noun phrase. And if you notice here, the expect is at the beginning. So you can you can do it either way. You can switch. Okay. You can either put because of, then the noun, and then the effect, or first the effect, then because of, and then the noun phrase. Okay. So either way is fine. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Yes, true. Yeah. Okay, all right. Any questions so far? No? Yes, the, the, the difference between a noun phrase, phrase and, a, mm -hmm. and a close is uh, mainly the verb because it, it seems in the second, in the B example, the second part of, of or the cause, the cause is uh, similar to the, the Third example, the rapid development of information technology is very similar to the letter C, improvement in the current communication system is required immediately. Okay, uh, we, we have, okay, let's, let's, let's first look at letter C and, and then I'll answer that question, okay? So because we haven't seen letter C yet, um, let, let's let's do that first, okay? So like I said, make sure that you're not confusing because with because of, uh, because the word because is used with the clauses and not with phrases, okay? Mm -hmm. So example, the IT department requires more budget, okay? And it says here because of, improvement in the current communication system is required immediately. Now, this is not possible. Why? Because if we use the word because of, or the phrase, uh, I'm sorry, the connector because of, this next part would have to be a noun phrase, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's the verb to be right there, system is. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, we have improvement in the current in communication system. That is a noun, noun phrase. But then, <clears throat> as, um, as Anna Claudia pointed out, we don't have just a noun phrase. We actually have a clause. And how do we know I have a clause? Because over here, there's a verb. Mm -hmm. Is required. Okay, so that means that this is not a noun phrase. Okay, that is why this is incorrect. It's incorrect because this is after the because of, there is not a noun phrase, there's actually a clause. Okay. That's why we can't say because of, instead, we have to say. Yes, because. Just because. Mm. Okay. All right, so we can, so this is okay. The IT department requires more budget because improvement in the current communication system is required immediately. Then that's okay, because this is in reality, not a noun phrase, but instead it's a clause. It's clearly a clause. Okay, in mm -hmm. fact, in fact, there are two clauses here. The first clause is the IT department requested 
more budget. How do you know that? Because in both of them, we have verbs. Okay, Re mm -hmm. requested. And here is required. Right? So both of them are now clauses. There are, are sorry, clause, clauses. They're both clauses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, everybody? Or do you guys have any questions about this? Yes, to be honest with you, I don't get it a lot. Could you explain again, please? Okay, which part do you not get? So I can explain it a little uh, more specific. Yeah, uh, why is not a known phrase? Okay, a known phrase does not have a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Roxana, if you have a verb, it's not a noun phrase. It becomes a clause. Okay? So in the case of letter C, we have a verb. Okay? Um, okay, it's right required. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first one here, requested, is a verb. Mm -hmm. So that means that this, we have the sub, actually mm -hmm. here we have a subject. The subject is the IT department, right? Okay. And we have a verb, requested. So this is a clause. It has a subject, it has a verb. If it has a subject and it has a verb, then it's a clause. The same thing here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a verb, is required. And we have a, su a subject, improvement in the current communication system. So we have, we have a, a subject and we have a verb. That means that this is also a clause, not a noun phrase. And because- okay. it's, it's the mm -hmm. same if, if we just only have improved the current communication system without, it's required immediately. Um, in if, that case, it would be a, a noun phrase. If we just simply eliminated, okay, so you, Roxana, your question is, if we, your, if it would be okay if we just simply eliminated this? Mm -hmm. Okay, if we eliminated this, so it would say, the IT department requested more but budget because of improvement in the current communication system. In, okay, grammatically speaking, yes, it would be correct. Okay. But it, the, the, the syntax would be incorrect. The syntax meaning the meaning, it doesn't make sense. So grammatically okay. speaking, it's a correct, but not the meaning. The meaning leaves you like, it's not clear. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Okay. Yes, okay. But, but, yeah. but the, if, if we change, we put something like, because of the necessity of improve the current communication system, it will be a noun phrase. Yes. In and that case, yes, because of. exactly. If we change that uh, noun phrase, then it would be, the syntax would be correct. And we could say, for example, the IT department requested more budget because of uh, the necessity to improve, the necessity uh, to improve the, the current communication system. That would be okay. So, teacher, in this case, we are connecting a clause with a noun phrase with the connector because of. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. I thought that it was just the connector was used just between two noun phrases. No, it can be no. combined. A clause no, it, with a noun phrase. No, no, it has to be combined. It, it has to connect a noun phrase with a clause. Ah, okay, okay. And if we have two noun phrases, must be another, like, just because. 
No, we can't. We mm. we can't have two noun phrases because it's impossible. it's impossible because that means that there would be no now no verb. And we can't have a complete idea without a verb. I got it. Okay. We need a, okay. a complete sentence in the close D, mm. but okay. yeah. one, at least one. Yeah, at least one of them has to be a clause because we need a verb to complete an idea. We we can't we can't just yeah. have to. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the so to use all the connectors, we have a clause and a noun phrase, or just with this one specifically, because there are other connectors. Right. Yes, there are other connectors, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the connector is. We always have to have a clause. Clause and okay. Yeah, we at always... least at least a close, but exactly. we can have two close. Yes, correct, more David. More. Yes. That, that that is correct. We can have okay. more than one clause, but yeah. we need to have at least one clause because, like I said, we can never have a complete sentence without a verb. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Okay. And, and, and teacher, the 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 condition is the same. We introduce the cause that is playing an effect. It, 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 it don't matter if we use because of, because of, or, or only because. Uh, the difference is that in, in one of them, we are using a close and a noun phrase, and in the other one, we are using two close. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, the cause and effect is the same. Mm -hmm. I ask him. <laughs> um, because you say it's playing uh, because it's because of uh, is, is the reason, right? Because it's the reason, because yes. of it's because an effect. The effect, ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's, it's different, mm -hmm. right? So one gives you a reason, the other one gives an effect. Okay. 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 I mean, Any other the, questions? All, all these clauses. <laughs> My yeah, it, it, at the beginning, I may sound a little confusing, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in, in the end, just mm -hmm. think about clause means a subject and a verb. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No. Yeah. You can ask me any questions. Don't, don't, um, don't be afraid. Sometimes we're like, oh, I don't want to ask a question because I'm gonna sound, um, you know, like I don't know anything. Uh, people are gonna laugh at me. But no, 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 no. In fact, I always tell my students, if you have a question, most likely somebody else has the same question, and they're gonna be happy that you asked. Okay. All right, so do you have any other questions that you guys want to ask? Okay, how, how, how could it be uh, this limitation that the, the connector because of is not, uh, okay, it's not usually, but it could be that the second sentence in the, in the first paragraph, this connector is not usually used after a for the verb be. It, it could be, sometimes it could be used or never, or uh, what is that explanation? This connector is not usually used after a form of verb B. Why? Or, or how could be an example of that? Uh, you're, you're asking how to use because of after the verb to be? Yes, why is the reason of that? Uh, 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 that information because uh, it's, it's not usually if I have verb B, I prefer use another connector. Maybe that is that is explanation, or it's not. Okay, <laughs> let me put it in another way. Okay, it is not it's not the relation between because of and because. Is maybe the, the general connector because because and, and another type of connector. This connect is not usually used. 
is we have a verb B, what kind of connector we need to use? Is we do use like, like what the, the, the previous that, what you're saying, do too. You can use it because it says not usually, but it's not very common. Okay. Um, for example, you could say, um, um, yeah, it, it de definitely um, you would have to use a different connector that, that would, in fact, most of the time, you, after the verb to be, you would not use a connector, but um, in general, in general, um, you don't usually use a connector after the verb to be, but it can be used. Um, for example, uh, you can say, um, it's, it's something like uh, I I I said uh, I was no I am the best teacher mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. because of for example because of I, no 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 I have... because it says here not usually used after a form of the verb be after after a form of the verb be okay. And yes, if I said I am the best teacher, I no, because then I am the best teacher, teacher that and then the because of would go after the word teacher, not after the verb to be. Does that make sense? Mm, not, not not really, but you say I am the best teacher because of my PDH. No, 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 okay, no. okay. Um, all right, what this means is that it doesn't usually, you, you because the word because of is not usually used after a form mm -hmm. of the word be, not, oh, okay. not that you don't use it, the be in the set, in the clause. It means that you don't use the word be and then because of. Um, so to give an example. Um, I'll read in the chat. Blah, 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 blah. And then being because of. Does that do you see that? Do you, in the chat? Yes. Like that. Being is a form of being. And we yes, no, yes. we normally would not use the word being because of blah 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 blah, right? That 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 phrase would not exist. Okay. Simply because it's because of the nature of the word be that the nature of the verb be usually needs an adjective or a subject after. Okay, different from other verbs that don't need it. Like, for example, um, I am I am tired. <laughs> Because oh sorry no 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 sorry I'm trying no no let me, give me let me give you something um, uh, if I say I, I am I, I am sleepy this night because the last night I can't sleep well. Yes, but but okay. But remember, I, once again, I, I I go back to the same idea that we're not talking about using the verb to be. But using the verb to be is okay. That's not a problem. The problem is using just the verb yes, be yes, yes. and then after. after exactly immediately after using because of. That's the problem. 
the problem is not using the verb to be. It's putting the verb to be next to because of. Mm -hmm. That does not happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Anything else? Any other questions? No? It's clear? Clear, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's see if it really is that clear. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to clear this up. So I want you guys now to work um, on the exercise that's in the book. Okay. It's this one right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to be deciding if you're going to be using because or because of. It's as simple as that. You just have to choose one of the other. Okay? Does that make sense? Sorry, sorry. We will do that exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to assign you into breakout room so you can do this exercise. All right? Uh, any questions? Do, is it clear what we're going to be doing? Okay. I yes, think. reduction. The, 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 this word, reduction, it, what was the, the, the pronunciation of it? Reduction. Pronunciation. You, you, you did it correctly. Yes, reduction. Reduction. Yeah, yes. You did okay. it perfectly. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing and... Uh, do you, you guys have the manual or do you want me to send you the... I, I have it, teaching. You have it? Okay. Yes. So you don't need me to send you the... the I don't exercise? know the others. <laughs> do you guys want me to send you the exercise in the chat or is it okay? Mm. Just let see. Is it okay? Uh, Told you send it. You want me to send it? Okay. Uh -huh, please. All okay. right. Problem. I can do that. Okay. Just give me a moment though, because I have to open uh, WhatsApp web, and for some reason it takes a you while. Can, you can put it in the chat, teacher. Yeah. You can. Oh. Yes. Mm, in the I chat of the Zoom. When you move to the, the Zoom? breakout rooms, it, it's not visible. No, but uh, put it now to, to download and then go to the chat room. Okay, I'll, I'll try both. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> thank go, you. Thank go you. ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's probably easier that way. Um, okay, just a second. I, I'm, I'm actually not too sure if I can do Zoom. Let me try if I can do Zoom. Oh, yeah. Yes, it could be. Okay, there it is. Can you guys download it? Okay, so my WhatsApp web is almost open. It takes a while, I don't know why. Yeah. I guess it's because it just downloads all the, the messages. And when you have a lot of messages and it has a lot uh, to download. Just, teacher, mm -hmm. um, this exercise mm -hmm. uh, for all the for all the people, it's mm -hmm. in the- It's in the manual. The, the yeah, yeah, but it's in the platform. In the, the platform. The, the, hum, the humble oh. 1.1. 1. 1. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna send it right now through the chat as well. Okay, so okay, there it is. Okay, so you should also have it through the WhatsApp chat. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms. Uh, Okay, um, David, someone, are you on two devices again? Yes, teacher, yes, please. Okay, okay, no problem, just give me a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you about eight minutes, I think. Should be okay. All right. Around eight minutes. If I see that you need more, I'll give you more time. Okay. Here we go. I have the same problem. I I will go out of the of the session and then I, I go in again. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Suleima, are you there? Suleima Sausaji. Jose Osmin, are you there? Jose Osmin? Jose Osmin, I'm staying. Okay, I'm sending you right now. Jose Osmin, Suleyma. Jose Osmin, Suleyma. Okay. Do you agree about that? Um, Yes, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I get. Uh, sorry, uh, I understand that the the clauses it uh, not uh, include. Sorry, is a a known a most a verb, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So a known phrase plus uh -huh. a verb. Okay, and yeah. in this case, uh, um, the the known phrase is a uh, reduction of variable. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So in this case, so for the first one, it's because of. Okay. Uh, because then of the because of uh, the the rest of the sentence explain explain uh, uh, well explain the the rest of the the reason that why you are using the because of okay uh -huh. for the uh, second said a new telecommunication system is necessary because. Many customer call calls are left on the on answer and orders are not being placed on time. What do you think about this? Which above do you, do you select? Okay. Oh. What do you think? Um... Because of? Because of. Right. I guess. And yes, because because of. What do you think? Well, could be. I, in order, uh, sorry, uh, 
I think uh, because uh, the the rest of the of the um, sentence is playing, mm -hmm. right? Yep, yep, that's right. Okay, the third one. Many of co work uh, many of workmates were not able to connect to the internet. Uh, because of the lay, because of the last update of the wireless adapters, the computers were able to find an IP address to connect to. Wow, my battery is low. Just let me one moment. I will stop to to share. Okay. Just for just for uh, a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Okay, no, no just, problem. No problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I already connect my cell phone, so I'll just. Hi, Diana. Hi, teacher. Um, Roberto. I think I I was asking for Helen. Like Roberto, are you there? But he just he's just not answered me. Okay, yeah. Roberto is not here then. Okay. Um, okay, let me see if I, I'll do something then. I'm going to change you to another breakout room. Okay. I already did the exercise, uh, but, okay. but I think yeah, that I, but yeah, I think you can, I can share yeah, the exactly. video with my, my perfect. others. Perfect. Husband. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to switch you to another group. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, okay. if you see the okay. two Fernando, sorry. Oh, are you the same? No, right? Fernando number, number two. No. Hi. Or, Hi. Give us the last one. What do you say in the last one? Okay. The last one is because because of. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Because. Because. Because after because of uh, it doesn't a uh, a noun a noun sentence without a verb so. Yes. It's a noun yeah. phrase. It's a noun phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Show your face, Roxana. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roxana okay. doesn't want to show her face. Okay. So that is number six. No, there is no number six. Oh, let me check. In ah. the in the in oh, the yes, 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 I got it. I see it. Uh-huh. It's yours and the cloudy. Okay. All yours. Experts recommend to analyze the type of outcome business. Are you guys ready? You're finished? Yes, we are in number six, just finishing this. Let me see. Okay. Experts recommended to mm -hmm. analyze. So I'll give you about uh one more minute to, to okay. The type of outcomes business are here. The last one I think is uh, because because, because. Uh, is it, it is a, a verb in there of the mm -hmm. sentence will mm -hmm. it determine will determine because I agree because will there will be an action because okay okay yes we finished. 
because of, because, because of, because, because of, because. Because. Mm -hmm. one, 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 one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's a platform exercise, right? Yeah, and the one for the platform is until number five. Yeah, until number five. So you're just going to fulfill it today. Exercise? Uh, let me check because... 11. 11? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, page 11. But I, I made a screenshot of this part, this part, and I paste in the same, in the same page. Yeah. But yeah, it's in the yeah, for me it's because of all right guys are you finished or do you need more time no uh, more time i don't know i mm -hmm. for me it's just because in the last one yeah for me it makes more sense it sound, it even sounds better when you said just because because of the expect outcome we will determine the type of input needed that say because of because yeah, of you're right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're right workmates were no able yes yes the first is a close. It uh -huh. had a bird. We're not able to connect. To connect. But uh, we have a noun phrase, the last update of the wireless adapters. And then we have another, another one. Uh -huh. yeah, the, the, the second sentence is not part of the first one. And for yeah. that reason, we use because of. Uh -huh. The computers were not able to find an IP address to connect to. This is the sun explanation because the, the, period, mm -hmm. the period ends the first sentence. Yeah, 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 right. For so that we reason, use. we use because of. Because of, mm -hmm. Yes. But it's, it's, I feel the same. What are you thinking now? I, I feel the same. Really. I was asking, it be or it could not. <laughs> yeah. But uh, are different sentences. Yes, because no software has been. Because... Okay, I think we are we are done. Yes. Yeah, the last two. Correct. Yes, yes. The first part of the number five is now class. The second part is is now phrase. And the second part is a close. Mm -hmm. And the number six is uh, we have two clauses. Yes. Because the expected mm -hmm. will determine. We determine the type of input needed. I think we are. Yes. You're finished? We are done. Yes. Okay. All right. I think. Yeah. We're finished. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's see. We'll see in the main room. Okay. Okay. okay.
Meeting is being recorded. Okay. Uh, from what I saw, I think everybody's finished, right? Yeah. Everybody, yes. All the groups yes. are finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes, teacher. Perfect. Let's check. Let's check. Uh, all right, guys. So you're going to help me out. Um, we're going to discuss the answers. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is I will ask individual people to give me, to help me out and give me the answers. Okay. So we'll start with William. William, can you help me out with the first one? The first one, um, because of the reduction of variable cost of design, development, and manufacturing of a product through investment on technology, many companies feel they can get some return on investment by charging a higher price for their products. Okay, good. Tell me, William, why did you choose because of and not because? Okay, because of, uh, because explain. Um, I don't know how to say, but it is not a reason like when, when you use because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. We choose because of, because it's the, Mm, the so result? Just, yeah, the effect. Yeah, very the good. Effect, uh -huh. Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. Yeah, it is. It is. We're talking about the effect. And grammatically speaking, it's also because after this, we have a noun phrase and not a clause. The reduction of variable cost of design is a phrase, not a clause. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Fernando Ernesto, can you help me with number two, please? Okay. Uh, it's because uh, a new telecommunication system is necessary because customer calls are left unanswered and orders are not being placed on time. Okay. Why did you choose? Because? Uh, because the, the sentence after the, the is necessary, uh, they have a verb in signing it, customer calls. So mm -hmm. indeed in this context, uh, because it is better for this sentence. Okay, so what's the verb? Customer uh, calls is call. the verb? Call, call uh, after, because, of many customer calls. Okay, the, so which one is the verb? The very is, is after customers call. Oh, mm, okay. Actually, no. The, the word calls is not the verb. Calls, in this case, they're llamadas. Uh, so, are. So the verb are, exactly. To be, okay. Yeah, oops. Hold on. Yeah, so the verb is are. Okay. okay, so we have customer calls are left. Actually, sorry, it's not just are, it's are left. That's the verb, are left. Okay, and the rest of it is the rest of the clause. Is this unanswered and orders are in orders? I don't and once again, time. yeah, once again, we have another verb here are not being placed. Okay. 
Okay. And then again, we have the rest of the claws. So it's very clear that we have a noun here, sorry, a clause, not, not a, a, a noun phrase. Okay, is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, um, Harvin, would you help me out with number three, please? Number three. Yeah, please. Okay, many of my workmates were not able to connect to the internet because of the last input um, update of the wireless ad adapters. The computer were not able to find the IP address to connect to. Thank you, yes, okay. So, because of, very good. Okay, so Harvin, can you help me out with this one? Can you pronounce this word? Update. Update. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then we have adapters. Adapters. Yes. Uh, find. Find. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Tell me, why did you use because of? Why we select that? Mm -hmm. Because in the sentences, he's not talking about or don't have a verb and such. The sentence doesn't have a does, doesn't have don't, don't have. The sentence doesn't have a subject and a verb. No, it's a a, no, a noun phrase. All the complement of the sentences. Where is the noun phrase? Oh, you feel me with that word? What, what part is the noun phrase? I think the last update of the wireless adapters. Good, exactly. That part is the noun phrase. We, we do have, the, the, the subject does have a verb because if it didn't have a verb, it wouldn't be a subject. Sorry, a, sub, uh, a sentence. Okay, so, but this part here after is a noun phrase. Yes, you're right. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you very much. Um, let's have one, Miguel. Help us with number four, please. Okay, the number four. Uh, because a new software has been introduced to the department, personnel is required to attend a two-week training. Okay, why did you choose that? Uh, only or just because, mm -hmm. uh, because it's related to the uh, to the to a form of the verb be, which is has been, yeah. So is because. All right. So we are using a a what? A form of the verb be. So we're using, been. good. So we're yeah. using verb. We're using a verb. Therefore, it's a, it's a clause, right? Yeah. Okay. So yes, this is a clause because we're using a verb. Okay. And the verb is, has been introduced. That's the verb. So that means that, that then since we're using a, a, a clause, we use because. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. Um, is you, Suleyma, are you there? Suleyma, are you having trouble with your microphone? If you're having trouble with the microphone, maybe you can write in the chat. No? Suleiman? Not there? Okay. 
All right. Um, Ramon. Ramon Mata. Not there. Okay. Roxana then. Roxana, can you help us? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, number five is because of because of the popularity popularity. Yes. Popularity. No? Popularity. Popularity. Because of oh. the uh, popularity of pro profitability of the stock is it is advisable to break and moral more moral stores to invest on the introduction of online facilities. Okay. All right, so popularity. Can you repeat that word for me? Popularity. Popularity. Mm -hmm. say, say it Perfect. again, teacher, that word? Yes. Popularity. Popu. Popu. Popularity. In, in this case, you is so, is, 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 is sound like you. Like, like exactly. The, the name of the power. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. It, that's why I said it's not 100% of the time. It's 65 yes, yes. to 70% of the time that the, the, the you in the middle of the word will sound like a, uh, but it's not always. So this one is popu, popularity. 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 In, in the other so it's not one, popularity. Uh, it's not popularity. Yes. It's popularity. It's popular. mm -hmm. popularity. In the second one, pro. pro um, Profitability. 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 Like the first syllable is, is not, not sound. Profi profitability. 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 Okay. Profitability. Profitability. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Profitability. Profita. Profitability. Profa. Like a hide an R, right? Hide an R. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the like, 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 like what? Sorry. That's what we talked about. I think it was yesterday. We talked about the flap T. The flap T is when uh, the letter T is in the middle of two vowels. Then it sounds like an like a, between an R and a D. So it's pro, it's profita, profita, profitability, profitability. Okay. Okay. And the last question, teacher. Sorry for interrupt. No, 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 no the, problem. The, Invest in, in the in the last part of the sentence. Invest in or invest on. Invest, I think, invest in the introduction. Intro introduction. Yes. Invest in, I think. I don't know. What do you think? It is available for brick and mortar stores to invest. Invest in the introduction of online facilities. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, I, I agree Thank with you. you. It's in, uh -huh, it's invest in. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. So invest in the distribution of the online facilities. Okay. Thank you. Um, Rosana, why did you? It was Rosana that gave me the answer, right? Yes. See, right? Okay. Rosana, why did you choose the word because of? Uh, because uh, in that uh, sentence we don't have a uh, verb after the because of, mm -hmm. and uh, we are talking about the popularity and pro profitable of profitability. Profitability is a yeah. it's a noun. Very good. It's a noun phrase. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's no, no verb, so therefore it's a noun phrase. Exactly. Okay, very good. Um, let's go now, now, number six. 
Uh, let's have Fernando Marvin. Help me with number six. Okay, teacher. Experts recommend to analyze the type of outcome business organization organizations wants to want to achieve trail ICT because of the expected outcome will de determine the type of input needed. Okay, so because uh, of? No. Oh, because the expected, sorry. So, so just because? Just because. Okay, oh, hold on. Why did you choose because? Uh, I think that we have two clauses in this case. Okay. Be because the first is a noun expert and a bear recommend. Okay, just give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment. Okay. All right. Um, right. Okay. So we have the expected. Oh, hold on. The expected outcome is a noun. Yeah, the expected outcome will determine the type of input indeed, because here we have a verb. And what's the verb? Will. Yeah, will determine. Will determine. Yeah, there's yeah, the And it's a far of beer to be. Uh, no. No, will? No. No, just no. That that's just um, the the simple future. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else that you guys want to ask about before we continue? Can you read the the complete sentence five? Number five. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because of the popularity and profitability of e-stores, it is advisable for brick and mortar stores to invest in the introduction of online facilities. I'll repeat okay. that. Because of the popularity and profitability of e-stores, it is advisable for brick and mortar stores to invest in the introduction of online facilities. Anything else that you guys want to ask about or do you want me to read? Sorry, teacher, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. In the sentence number four, mm -hmm. after a, a personal, person is, is plural word. And the, the verb was in singular is or oh, it could be in plural, are personal, is required um, or okay. are yeah. required? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, I understand why you want to put the word are because the personnel, we're talking about many, right? Many people, personnel. However, a personnel is, even though it's, it includes many people. We treat it as a group of people. Yes, yes. we are talking okay. a group, not a people. Exactly. It's, like, a group. it's, it's mm -hmm. the same, but we use people. No, no, people no. no. Pe people, people is plural. plural. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, like, it's the same, but we use company. Company is. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, for example, we use family. Think about the word family. Family. Yes. family is composed of many people, but you create yes. you treat it as a group. Or when you okay. say class, the class is mm -hmm. even though the class is composed of many people. Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, any other questions? No? Okay. All right. All right. Sounds like you guys understand this pretty well. Good for you, bro. Oh, excellent. Teacher, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, no problem. In, in, in the number three, yeah? we have some problems. 
Okay. Because uh, the 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 noun phrase in the last part, mm -hmm. the last update of the wireless adapters. Then the next one, the computers were not able to find an IP address to connect to. This one is not a, is a, a different sentence. That's a different sentence, that's right. And then don't have to be with the first one. No. Okay. No, has nothing. It's just there to to give you more information. It was a tricky one. <laughs> I think I think that yes. Yeah, it was a yeah. tricky was... one because that was a third sentence and talking about the same topic, but you just had to use the connector. Mm -hmm. and exactly. The end, yeah, because the, the the sentence is only many of the work workmates were not able to connect to internet. Uh, because of the last update of the wireless adapters. That's it. That's the only sentence mm -hmm. there. And that's like the the use of because or because of is only related to that sentence. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else you want to ask about? No? Okay, so so it's pretty clear the difference between because and because of, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, it sounds like you guys understand it pretty well. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, all right. So now that you guys got that, let's talk about colons. Okay, let's talk about colons. Uh, Give me a moment. There it is. Okay. So the use of colon after a complete sentence to introduce a list. Okay. So it says there are three main types of systems on which ICT is constantly working. We can say information, control, and communication. That means that I'm going to give you a list, okay? When I give you a list, um, so, so you know, three main types of systems, okay? I'm gonna give you a list of three things. What are the list? Information, control, and communication. communication. Because I use, because I'm giving you a list and I'm, I'm telling you beforehand that I'm gonna give you a list, I can use what we call a colon, okay? A colon looks like this. Looks like two little dots that are one on top of the other. That's a colon, okay? Another example. The ICT includes a more complex interaction of variety of, of elements. Notice a variety of elements. I'm announcing ahead of time that I'm gonna give you the variety of elements. What are the variety of elements? They are the internet, wireless networks, cell phones, and other communication mediums. So because I'm giving you a list, I can use a colon. Okay. Now, do not use a colon to introduce the elements of a list if the clause precedes, preceding does not express a complete thought. So in other words, what this means is that before the colon, we have to have a complete idea, okay? Like this has to be complete. So it should say, there are three main types of systems on which ICT is constantly working. That's a complete idea. Mm -hmm. The same thing here. An ICT includes a more complex interaction of a variety of elements. Again, that's a complete idea. 
But look what happens here. The benefits of the new software, uh, software to take orders are faster processing of the order, accurate orders, and higher com uh, customer satisfaction. In that case, if you noticed before the colon, look what happens. Look what happens with the, the, the words before it. The benefits of the new software to take orders are, is that a complete sentence? The benefits of the new software. Is that a, com it's a complete sentence means that the idea is complete. That there is nothing that leaves me thinking, mm, what 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 do you want to say? It it's a complete idea on its own. If I wanted, I could stop the idea there. Mm -hmm. Is that complete? Yes or no? The benefits of the new software to take orders. This is not it's not complete because uh, uh, he's missing to whom they, is ben benefiting be who are the benefits uh, yes so who, who are the ones that are benefits what what no, are the benefits or what but what? it says the benefits, the benefits of the new software yes. to take orders are yeah so we, we're we stop just in the bird exactly and you're like yeah. saying aha uh -huh, what what are they uh-huh okay You're, you have that that question left over like uh -huh. right? it's like in spanish it would say los beneficios de um de no, nuevos eh, nuevos software, software, para tomar para, nuevos software para tomar pedidos son in spanish will make little sense <laughs> yeah and you're like y, y se queda uno como ajá uh -huh, son qué Right, so the same idea, the same question in English, are what, right? So that part here is incomplete. So maybe if we say the three benefits of the new software, no. You still if have we, the question: are what? Um, or, or, or maybe if we say we have three benefits. Okay. With just, the new software. Uh, I, I but just the question want to... is, what are the benefits? Exactly. The question still is, what is the benefit? What are they? What are they? Right? So because this is not a complete sentence, because it's not a complete idea. The benefits then... for sellers could be? Okay. Just, just simply, I want you to understand this. Simply mm -hmm. because right here, the benefits of the new software to take orders are, is not complete. It's missing the, the it's, verb. It's missing part of the it's sentence. The we this. cannot use this. We cannot use calling a we colon. Are, we are not apply, applying the verb, yes. Exactly, it's not possible because this part is not complete, okay? let's let's do the other one let's see the other one the following are benefits of the new software to take orders faster yes. production produ pro um sorry processing faster processing of the order accurate orders and higher customer satisfaction now here we have also colon let's analyze if i can use a colon well if i to be able to use a colon, I have to be able to have the beginning complete. Is this complete? The following it's, are benefits it's like of redirecting, right? Redirecting that it comes a list that it at least is coming up. Right, there is a list coming up, but is it complete? Is the idea complete? The following are benefits mm -hmm. of the new software to take order. Is that complete? Yes. Yes, mm, that yes. is complete. We are Therefore, like announcing that a list is coming up. 
exactly mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah but the idea is complete it's not mm -hmm. i'm not left like with a question like oh, mm -hmm. what are you talking about right okay mm -hmm. all right the same thing happens here ict systems are also used in such fields as communication medicine and farming uh, again i have uh the colon okay over here I have colon okay. and so to be able to identify if i can use the colon i have to ask myself is this part complete the ict systems are also used in such fields as mm -hmm. is that complete no. It's not complete. It's not complete. Exactly. Yes. It's not complete. Because it's not complete, I cannot use a colon. It's incorrect. So it's not possible to use this. Does that make sense? So we cannot use here. And we cannot okay. use it here. Okay. Because it's incomplete. The beginning is incomplete. Can we say instead in these fields, ICT systems are also used and then the, use the columns? No. I would say in the following in the fields, same idea, yes. in ah, the following okay. fields, the ICT systems are also, are also ah, okay. used. Yes, we can do that. Okay. But we need to announce that we need to have a complete mm -hmm. idea. Got it. I can't I can't be left saying like, uh-huh, what? Right? It has to be. Okay, we use idea. like in the first example above, uh, we can say these are three fields in which the ICT system are also used. Exactly. Column? That's that's, that's possible. Yes. I'm yes. Uh, I don't know if it's correct to uh, like uh, Numerar, not how to say in English. Number. Now, ah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. numbering <laughs> yeah. things the, to come up. Yeah, in the same the same idea here, kind of following the same idea of numbering, it says a colon may be used after an incomplete introduction clause if the items in the series are listed on separate lines. Hmm. So, example, a ICT systems are also used in fields such as communication, medicine, farming, then it's okay, because here it's like similar to numbering, one, two, three. So it, this is possible in like to be able to use a colon. A bullet? It's, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it is possible to use um, the, the colon, even though in both of them, or by using ICT systems, companies are able to process great amounts of information quickly, able to transmit and receive information rapidly, complete a greater number of tasks as reduced cost, at a reduced cost. So here, it's possible to use the colon, even though, even though the first part is incomplete. Mm -hmm. This part mm -hmm. is still incomplete, but it's possible to use it because we are numbering them in bullets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got okay. It. Does this part make sense for you guys? Mm -hmm. So we can do it okay. if we have like a, if we're doing it numbering like with bullets going down set on separate lines, that's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay yes and the pronunciation is collins with like an e at the end colon 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 not okay. colon 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 like okay. like 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 the organ ah, okay it's the same colin. okay thank you colon colon okay. okay all right how do you guys feel about this <laughs> A little bit tricky. <laughs> it, it, it's actually not too, too tricky. Just ask yourself. The only thing you have to ask yourself is, before the colon, is there a complete idea? 
If there's a complete idea, I can use the colon. If there's no complete idea, can't use the colon unless I put it in separate lines. Mm -hmm. Those are basically the whole everything that that we we have talked about. I just I just summarized it in two sentences. Okay, so ask yourself: Is the idea before the colon complete? If it's complete, I can use the the colon. the colon. If it's not complete, I can't use it unless I put it on. I put the ideas in separate lines going down. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. That sounds better. <laughs> there you go. See, it's not complicated. Okay. All right. So, guys, we have come to the end of our class. I need you guys to work on um, on a platform, of course, but I need you also to work a, in the well the following exercise, which is this one here. Okay, it says read the sentence below. Identify three mistakes related to the use of colon. Correct them and compare your answers with the classmate. So all you, there's only three mistakes. Okay, so this is, shouldn't take you very long. You just have to identify three mistakes. That's it. Okay, so all of the exercise has, has three mistakes. Simple as that. Okay? okay. All right, and this is also in the manual. I don't remember the page, but I'll I'll send you in. In the chat in a moment okay awesome. all right any questions guys no okay no. all right i'm gonna have to take attendance quickly before we go um so um okay here we go Ana claudia present teacher the David Samuel. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth. Present. Eh, Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Marvin. Present. Fernando Eduardo. Eh, Heidi. Iliana. Present. Harvin. Present. Jose Marcos. Jose Marcos? Jose Osmin? Present. Okay. Jose Wilfredo? Present, teacher. Eh, Juan Miguel? Sorry, present, teacher. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Thank you. Ramon er Enrique? Ramon Enrique? Present, teacher. Roberto Luis? Roberto Luis, Roxana Yvette. Present. Okay. William Alexander. Present. Y Suleima Ivon. Suleima Ivon. Okay. All right, guys. So I just will, I will stay with Dora. Okay. And that will be it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, sorry. No, no. Tomorrow, no. Oh, Monday. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Monday, okay. Monday, no, yeah. Tomorrow, Hi, nice speaking. All right, have Teacher a wonderful weekend. Teacher of Asico Fierro, I'm here. Uh, oh, okay. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Gotcha. Thank you very much, Francisco. All right, yeah. see you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. The same to you. Bye. 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 Okay. Suleyma, are you there? Suleyma? Suleyma? Hello, Suleyma? Bueno, okay. Hello, Dora. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, very well. Yeah. Uh, a little tired and mm. so hot. 
I sweat. Oh, oh really? Yes. Um, where do you live, Dora? I live in Mexicanos. Oh, what, is it very hot? Okay. Yes. Really? How much? What's the temperature like right now? Yes, let me see. It's a, uh, I don't know. About uh, 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still hot. It's yeah, hot. it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think you guys are going to have a very hot um, in February, March, and April. <laughs> it yes. sounds like it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? I sometimes I wish I, I, I had the heat from El Salvador. So, okay. I, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Dora. Um. So tell me, it, anything that I can help you with? Any questions that you have about vocabulary that we've seen until this moment? or the grammatical structures, the colon, anything I can help you with? Well, uh, I, I think I, uh, I, a shy person. And this is for me difficult to uh, speak, but for is a, uh, uh, I, for me, difficult to speak in, in Spanish, in, in English is, is more. <laughs> yes. I understand, I understand. You know what, Dora? I'm going to tell you a little secret. Okay. I'm shy too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand, I understand. I, I may not look like I'm, I'm shy because I have learned to forget about my shyness when I'm at work, um, but I understand it's hard. Um, you know, when I'm like when I'm learning a new language, I'm also very shy um, to speak the language. So I understand it's it's difficult. It's it's a challenge. Yes. But but, mm -hmm. but I, I try I try to. To learn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the most important part, Dora. Don't, don't give up. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, try, try to think of it this way. Um, the more you try to uh, let's say, the, the more you try to uh, speak it the easier it will become. Because I know that you are shy right now, not because, not just because of your personality, but because you're afraid to make mistakes, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's normal, that's normal. But remember that everybody makes mistakes. When you are just, when you start learning a language, everybody makes mistakes. And it's okay because we're learning and the only way to learn is to make mistakes. So it's okay. You can make mistakes. And mm -hmm. the more you make mistakes, the more you will learn. But mm -hmm. if you don't make, if you don't allow yourself to make mistakes, then you'll never learn. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we are afraid we are afraid of um, of uh, failing, but I like I like the, this this um, this a phrase is, that I, I read once, and it said, oh. "Failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is the process of success." Okay. It's part of the process. It is so true, Dora. You cannot be successful without having mistakes, without failing mm -hmm. certain moments. You can't. So it's okay, Dora. 
if you if you if you think that if you if you put that in your head that you can that it's okay to make mistakes you will feel better you'll feel more open to be able to um to speak okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to with your permission i'm going to um make you speak more okay okay Thank you. Okay, yes. so I'm going to push you and I'm going to ask you, Dora, give me an answer. Dora, do this, right? So that I, so that you can get more practice. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, anything else that you're having problems with that I can help you with? No, teacher. It's okay. Go learn. Are you sure? Yes. And anything, any questions about the colons, about because or because of? Uh, no, I like your expression so much. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy I can help you. I understand the grammar. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, I actually, uh, to, I'll, 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 I'll be honest. One of my favorite things is grammar. <laughs> I love, I love grammar. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it, I think, I think, you know, one of the things why I like grammar is because <clears throat> many people are afraid of grammar, but really when you see it, like it, Actually, grammar is not that difficult if you understand, like I said, just like what I was um, telling, I think it was Eliana uh, just a moment ago, that you can summarize everything in just maybe a, in two, three sentences and you understand it, right? So it doesn't have to be so complicated, right? So it's okay. You, you will understand grammar. It's just, we just have to make it as least complicated as possible right okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay all right well in that case i'm not going to take more of your time go and start your weekend do you work tomorrow no oh, but, okay good <laughs> but uh, i have i have a, a trainer you have a what fine trainer uh Try. Trainer. Trainer. Uh, um, oh, a training. A trainer. Training. Training. Trainer. Oh, okay. But the training is um you you can just relax and yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it'll be okay. Okay, good. All right, we'll go and get some rest. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll see you on Monday. I'll okay. See. Take care, Laura. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.